up when they're so cute. Don't touch that dial because Carrie and Tareen from Warner Robins, Georgia, go for the million right after this. I want and joining me now are Terry and Tyreen, our twins from Warner Robins, Georgia. First twins we've had here with us, male and a female. So we're going to see if that makes any difference. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> you know the rules and you know the lifelines. You ready to play? Absolutely. Sure. All right, let's play Millionaire. <laughs> Going for $100. A person with an aptitude for gardening is said to have a green what? Foot, thumb, nose, bottom. B, thumb. thumb. Final answer. Final answer. Final answer, you got it for $100. Going for $200. In a 1964 movie, Elvis Presley exuberantly sings Viva What? San Francisco, Miami, Las Vegas, Chicago. C, Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. Final, Final answer. answer. You got it for $200. Going for $300. Closed captioning sponsored by Mel Monarchy provides. Well, it is day three of our twins edition, and I gotta tell you, it seems like two heads are not necessarily better than one. What we're finding is that one twin has constantly been second guessing the other, and they wind up with the wrong answer. But hopefully, things will turn out better for our returning contestants, Terry and Tyreen House from Warner Robins, Georgia. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. I'm reading here, Tyreen, that as a little girl, you were actually kind of a bossy one, huh? She's kind of. She's still that way. Still that she's way. still that way, Terry? Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Well, all right, listen. I'll see here, but it's working out because you got 200 already. All right. You're just 13 questions away from winning $1 million, and you still have all your lifelines. Are you ready to play? Let's do it. Okay, yeah. audience, you ready? Yeah. Going for 300 here. Omega is the last letter of what alphabet? Greek, Russian, Arabic? Gaelic. A, a, final a. answer. Final. Off to a good start. You got $300. Down to $500. The world famous Enrico Caruso was what kind of performer? Mime, tap dancer, trapeze artist, opera singer. Opera singer, right? Yeah, D. Yeah. Final answer. Final answer. You got $500. Going for $1,000. The Luxor Las Vegas Hotel features a 30-story replica of what kind of structure? Castle, pyramid, coliseum, lighthouse. Pyramid. Yeah. B. Pyramid. Final answer. Final answer. Yes, you got it again for $1,000. <laughs> Going for $2,000 here. Bibliothèque is French for which of the following? Library, post office, fire station, hospital. Library? You sure? Yeah. Okay. Bibli. All right. A, A final library. answer. Final answer. She's right. You got it for 2000 I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. Well, this one may be one you know, here. <laughs> Going for 4000 Made by the sporting goods company Callaway, Big Bertha is a popular line of what? Golf clubs, baseball bats, hockey sticks, tennis rackets. Hey, golf clubs, final yeah, answer. Yeah, absolutely, final answer. We have some golfers in the family. All righty, you got it for 4,000. Good, Terry. Good. 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 Going for 8,000. According to a famous Noel Coward song, only mad dogs and who go out in the midday sun? Americans, Frenchmen, Englishmen, Germans. Do you want to ask the audience on this? Yeah. I, bet, um, I bet a lot of other people have heard this. Want to ask the audience? Yes. Yeah, we'll ask the audience. Yeah. Okay, audience, Terry and Tyreen need your help. On your keypads using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Mm -hmm. 
72% believe it is Englishmen, 12 for Germans, and then Americans and French, both at eight. We were leaning toward yeah. Englishmen, but not very strong, but 72 seems strong, so yes. we'll go with, C, with Englishmen. Final answer. final answer. The audience is right. You have it for $8,000. For 16,000 here. Invented in the late 1800s, the penny farthing was an early type of what? Lawnmower, bicycle, washing machine, slide projector. Uh, we're going to need a lifeline. Um, Go with the phone. Penny Marco. It's in your history. It's Dennis Um. Okay, we're going to. We're gonna do the phone a friend. And who do you want to call? Mrs. Staniskew. Mrs. Staniskew? Mm -hmm. And who's Mrs. Staniskew? She is a former teacher of mine. Mm -hmm. What grade? Um, 11th and 12th. Okay. High school. High school. Okay, our friends at AT&T are gonna help us get Mrs. Staniskew on the line. Cubana T's Pamela Staniskew. Mrs. Staniskew? Yes. It's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? I am fine, and you? I'm great. I understand that you used to teach Tyreen? Yes, I did. What'd you teach her? Uh, English and history and humanities. Was she bossy? Oh, no, but she could be in charge of groups very well. Oh, she could? Okay. Well, she needs your help right now, along with her brother, Terry. Yes. Because they're going for $16,000. Wonderful. Okay, Terry, Tyreen, you have 30 seconds, and your time starts right now. Invented in the late 1800s, the penny farthing was an early type of what? Lawnmower, bicycle, washing machine, slide projector. Penny farthing, 1800s. Oh, my goodness, a penny farthing is a kind of English money. Give me the four chances again. Lawnmower, bicycle, washing machine, slide projector, nine seconds. Okay, my best guess is bicycle. Okay, how sure? Fairly sure, because most of those others were just blind. Okay. Um, Fairly sure, she I was leaning toward bicycle, and um, and she's the smartest teacher I know, so. She's a lot smarter than we are. Yeah. So we're going to go. B, bicycle, final, final answer. What's her name, Mrs. Staniskew? Mrs. Staniskew, you are one smart teacher. You got it right for 16. going for 32,000 now you get this you can't leave with less than 32,000 okay the famous blarney stone is part of the architecture of what larger structure well church staircase bridge castle tower you want to take the 50 50 she'll hate to leave <laughs> that thing up there yeah yeah we don't want to mess up with that lifeline still there so um 50 50 please okay Computer, please randomly take away two wrong answers, leaving one wrong answer and the correct one. The church staircase or the castle tower? I was afraid of that. Um, I think I should, we should still go for it. All right. You go for it? Sounds great to me. You really want to go for it, Terry? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. I wanted to go through it the whole time. She, yeah, she actually, didn't backstage, go I was saying, right. we're not going for it. We're not <laughs> going for it. Um, and he was like, we're going for it, we're going for it. Um, so I'm going to defer to him this time, and we're going to go for Whoa, it. Whoa, this is monumental. <laughs> yeah. Historic. D. Castle. Final, Final answer. answer. You got 32,000. Yeah. <laughs> we're going for 64,000. No lifelines left. Just okay. the two of you. Okay. In Greek mythology, what was the name of the fluid that flowed through the veins of the gods? Polos, Ikor, Spondy, Kor. On the cards, it's always C. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Sit on the cards, the millionaire cards, it's almost always C. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of going more with the Polos. Okay. We really don't have a clue at well, all. You're thinking A and you're thinking C. Yeah, right. well, let's, let's go with A. Yes. It's, it was his turn last time. It's got to be my turn. The fates must be. Yeah. Um, 
A. Final answer. Final answer A. No, it is not. But it wasn't C. <laughs> it was B. Okay, so you go home with thirty-two thousand dollars. Fantastic. Irene, congratulations. Yeah. So nice to meet you. Thank you. you. Take care. Bye, sweetheart. because neither one had the right answer. Anyway, we are out of twins, so when we come back, Garrett Meehawk from Nashville, Tennessee is going to fly solo.